Rumble, or Mission 5's Island Invasion to you and me, is the final level the player must complete in order to secure Hogshead. Everything in Hogs of War went through stages of development in one sense or another, and maps are indeed no exception. In the very early days this level saw the incorporation of vehicles, different style bridges and smashed up building assets. Most notably this version of the game is set at night time. Two sets of tanks sit on either side of the map with essentially every area of land being connected by some form of bridge. You'll also notice that there is a continuous path across the level as well as the use of water to break up the land itself. It is interesting to note that the water is a lot thinner meaning that there is a larger percentage of land mass rather than bodies of water. When you compare it to today's game the scale of everything is much smaller. As you all know I've been talking about this many times before but it does stand true from the perspective of land versus water water. The only building on this map appears to be completely bombed out with what appears to be the leftover remains of a checkpoint gate. The colour palette for this map seems to be the same as today, the only difference being the use of additional craters and some other types of vegetation, in this case trees. Moving forward in time then and Rumble has seen a complete overhaul. For starters the time of day has changed along with the distinct lack of any type of asset. As far as I'm aware this is the point in which the game was undergoing a complete revamp both in terms of design and game mechanics, hence the reason why this map is completely empty. The overall scale of everything has been increased so you can start to see the map that we know from today. There are still some leftover elements from the early version, most notably the pathway that marks its way around the map. My particular focus at this point is on the far left corner of the map where those tanks used to be. But yeah, overall, this version of the map symbolizes the transition period that Hogsaw was going through at this point in time and it's only when we progress into the alpha that things become much clearer. Familiar assets can now be seen with some additions that were eventually altered or removed. The shelters and bridges will of course be recognizable, not to mention the color palettes and overall landscape design. Uh, but the building that partially shields the orderly is certainly different as it seems to have a slight extension on its left side. We've talked about the use of buildings in Hogs of War before and here you can see the design decision being made that they will now only serve as an aesthetic prop that can sometimes be used to block incoming damage. It's a shame as being able to actually go inside a whole building could have changed the way this game was played but I'm guessing in practice it may have been too complicated for the time span of the project. Besides floating bridge pieces, which are indeed a little bit weird, there is an additional bridge that leads to the corner of the map where the tanks used to be, but this eventually gets removed later on. It makes sense seeing as that area doesn't really serve much of a purpose anymore. It pretty much is just the corner of the map and strategically it has no real value to the player seeing as you're able to hop over to the body of land where the orderly sits anyway. The top right corner of the map has some walls that you can use for cover. Many of you will know that area as being where the 50 HP health pack drops in later on in the mission. Um, but I'm guessing it got removed just because visually it's not very pleasing and the ability of being able to build a wall to use as cover was eventually removed anyway, so yas. Onto the PC version then and we can see the biggest changes being the removal of that corner bridge like I said, along with other changes to the map's main building. It is worth noting that the PC version is the only one that uses the, I want to say, civilian pig? I mean, it's a pig model that creepily sits alone and I want to say he's sleeping. I'm not really sure, but inside that building there are additional assets as well. But the building's overall shape hasn't actually changed, it's only been the textures that have been altered. And the shelter that's on the player side has been moved to the left island rather than the right, while the other bridges remain exactly the same. There is indeed finalized vegetation assets that have been implemented along with the health pack positions and some tweaks to the design of the outer edges of the map. To me I find the PC version is the cleanest both in terms of graphics and performance but then having said that it does feel kind of washed out when you compare it to the PlayStation version. Speaking of which here it is this is the final design to rumble. Going back to that far corner again and you can see that that area has just kind of been thinned out a bit so even if the player were to get over there it wouldn't provide any kind of helpful cover. The main building we saw in the PC version has been completely removed and replaced with another shelter. Lazy perhaps or maybe just stretched for time, I feel it's unfortunate that it did get taken out. Other than a few minor changes though, the map is as we know it to be today. When you compare it to its previous state of design, you can see how this level has changed and in many ways how its initial structure was kind of stripped out and completely reworked and I guess you could say that for Hogs of War as a whole. 
um, but I've always been happy with the overall design of this game and I think it would have just been nicer to get a wider variety of elements and assets, particularly when it comes to types of buildings and additional structures. That is of course just my own opinion though, I'd love to hear yours so please let me know in the comments below what was your favourite part of this map's development? Do you think they could have done more with it? Let me know down below. Let's get a discussion going as always. And in the meantime, that's going to wrap everything up. Plenty more map development videos and Hogs of War stuff coming up in future. So do stay tuned and I will catch you guys later for the next one.